do seed oils like flaxseed and uh, safflower and sunflower and all the other seed oils. A lot of the vegetable oils that you found today are these what we call seed oils or vegetable oils. Do these oils cause more inflammation? Now you see a lot of these internet doctors or fitness health gurus out there saying that, yeah, you got to reduce your intake of flaxseed oil because it has omega-6, has higher levels of linoleic acid or alpha linoleic acid, and th that has been associated with inflammation. Now, they have almost no evidence for this other than one person cites a study from 1965 that was done on rats. Um, that's almost 60 years ago, and it was done on rats, which is funny in a way. I mean, back then, maybe we didn't have a way of testing these things on humans. But now, luckily, we have a way of testing whether these things do this uh, on actual humans. And we have a lot of studies, over 30 of them, actually. There have been countless studies now published on linoleic acid uh, and its effect on inflammatory markers. And not only that, they actually followed these people for something like 31.9 years and they found that it actually has a cardioprotective effect, that it actually improves cardiovascular health and mortality. The, the hazard ratios went down. Hazard ratios means, you know, what's the chance of you having a heart attack or stroke if you did X, Y, and Z? And then if you changed a few, if you change one variable, does the hazard ratio go up? Like you're more likely to have a heart attack or stroke or does it go down? In almost all those cases, when you pulled 30 studies together, it actually went down. Now, there's a lot of studies on this. I'm not going to cite all of them. Maybe I'll put links below or I'll put them up here or something. Um, but the, the biggest one it was in Circulation. Circulation is American Heart Association's journal. They looked at 30 prospective studies and they followed these people for over 30 years, almost 32. And there was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of like 65, 68,000 people or maybe more. I, I can't remember the exact number, but I'll post it. Um, but they found that uh, alpha linoleic acid or linoleic acid, whichever one you want to call it, omega-6, actually has a protective effect, a significant one. The hazard ratios were down in some cases 7% and some almost 20, well, 28, 22%. Um, so it actually doesn't have that. Now, some people contend, well, alpha linoleic acid or linoleic acid converts to arachidonic acid in humans. They've actually studied that too, and it doesn't. They've looked at what percentage of linoleic acid converts into arachidonic acid, which is pro-inflammatory, and they found that it doesn't. It barely converts in humans. Now, sometimes we as humans try to outsmart ourselves. We'll take these vegetable oils that are liquid fats, and let's say like olive oil, for example. Um, they have some saturated fat in them, obviously, but the majority of it is unsaturated, whether it's mono monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. But we take these liquid oils and we uh, hydrogenate them or partially hydrogenate them. You go to the butter aisle where you see all the butter. You see like the real butter over here and then you see these butter spreads. They're vegetable oil spreads. They've taken vegetable oil and hydrogenated it or partially hydrogenated it made it thicker and uh, more solid so you can spread it. You basically create like a fake butter, but supposedly it's healthier. Now, whenever you do this, You've taken something that's m more unsaturated type fat and turned it into a saturated fat. Um, that's not really healthy either. That is, those types of fats, saturated fats, are what make your LDL go up. And your LDL being higher correlates with more atherosclerosis, heart attacks, and strokes, without question. We know this um, through every, you know, tons and tons of studies. We know that an LDL. Uh, below 47, there is no heart disease. There's no strokes. There's no heart attacks. So we know without question that elevated LDLs uh, are pro-atherogenic or, or, you know, uh, cause cardiovascular disease and mortality. And we know that saturated fat is what raises LDL, you know, whether for whatever reason. Um, but now you're taking these liquid vegetable oils, hydrogenating them or partially hydrogenating them, and you're turning them into sat more of a saturated fat, into like this thick, you know, creamy, buttery type stuff like butter and coconut oil have more saturated fat than most other forms of oil or fat, then that's the problem with them. Whenever a fat is solid at room temperature, 
that's how you know like you know butter bacon cheese chicken skin fat on steak those are saturated fats i did a whole video on it you can search for it but that's besides the point back to these seed oils so seed oils in and of themselves are actually protective and we've known that forever um, but when you take them and modify them and uh, turn them into a more of a saturated fat or more of a solid so it's creamier and spreadable that's a problem you have to look very carefully at what you see online people say well, you know, this fitness guru or this Instagram doctor or Dr. So-and-so said this, you know, there's all these doctors out there that are talking about, you know, being natural and, you know, wholesome medicine and all this. Sure, that's all great, but you got to follow the science. Um, you have these like homeopathic or naturopathic or functional medicine doctors, which I'm not opposed to. They can, they can have their, uh, degrees in their fields of medicine i'm an osteopath we treat the whole body too i mean that's what i was raised uh doing that's my entire background and that's my philosophy i treat the entire patient not just this little disease state um, that's my philosophy but people like us get a bad rep when you've got people quoting junk junk science and just making stuff up there's literally no reason to quote a rat study from the 1960s at all it's 2022 now, and we have at least 30 human studies on this exact question. The one thing I love about science is because you can come up with an exact question that you want an answer to, and you can get that answer. So that's the whole point of science. That's why we have science. So please be careful, people. When you see these people uh, posting these things or you repost their memes or whatever it is, you're not doing anybody a favor. Um, flaxseed oil and, and all these other things that you know all these seed oils they're not inflammatory they don't convert to anything dangerous you know what is inflammatory there's one thing that's proven to be inflammatory and is the root cause of almost all cardiovascular uh, disease you know what that is it's obesity being overweight and having a lot of adipose tissue adipose tissue is fat having a lot of adipose tissue is really bad for your heart um, that's the most pro-inflammatory state you can be in is being obese. So obesity is the problem. You have to lose weight. All of the studies that have been done, and I've talked about this in all my lectures, but all the studies they've done, when your weight goes down, regardless of how you cho choose to reduce your weight, completely diet agnostic. You can pick any diet you want, any workout regimen you want. Now, there are some I like better than others, but no matter what you like, however you want to lose the weight, if your weight comes down, your inflammatory markers all go down. And cardiovascular disease all goes down. Heart attacks and strokes all go down. No question about it. So please follow the science. I have a book you can read about. And I'll post a blog post down here too. I did a blog post about this. you got to be careful what who you listen to and what you're listening to. And, and check with me. I'm pretty open. I've answered every question anybody's ever posted. We, go, you, we do these YouTube and Facebook Lives. I answer all these questions. Um, I'm very open. I look at the science and the research. I'm a scientist by nature. But when when, I, when us holistic doctors look at everything and then come up with junk science and t teach people junk, uh, it looks bad. And it's bad for science. It's bad for health. It's bad, it's bad for mankind. Let's be better than that. We got to be better people, especially doctors. If you're a doctor of any kind, and I don't care what kind, but if you're a doctor of some sort and you're telling people this, you, you better know what you're talking about. You got to have the science to back it up. You cannot quote a rat study from 1965 as your only source of evidence. All right, or anecdotal evidence. Well, my one patient told me he cut out flaxseed and safflower oil and sunflower oil and they got better. No, people. One person is not science. You have to look at a lot, a lot of people. So I'll post the articles and the links, but the one in circulation was the best. They looked at 30 different studies over a span of like over 30 years and it actually was cardioprotective. It actually helped reduce inflammation. So I'll leave you with that, but share this with somebody who needs to hear it.